going on guys? We're in Forza 6 and we're going to be doing a challenge today. We're going to try to live up to Paul Walker's Toyota Supra. We're going to make this a 10 second car. I think it's very easy to do. Stock over 770 horsepower. Let's get right into it. I'm hoping we can at least get it under 10 seconds. And believe me, I think we will. Let's uh, just get right into the upgrading and fully upgrade it. See what we can do. Should we leave it? Eh, we'll leave it rear wheel drive. We'll see if we can still get it under 10 seconds rear wheel drive. Because that would be really cool. It'll be hard, but definitely very cool. Because all wheel drive is a lot easier. We all know that. Um, when it comes to, you know, getting under 10 seconds. Just because all, all four wheels will be moving. Great launch. Cuts down the speed. That's not the time by a lot, actually, just the launch alone. But uh, let's leave the stock rims, go to drivetrain, and basically just upgrade everything and get right into the tuning. Alrighty, guys, we're done upgrading the car. Now, before we go into tuning, I want to ask you guys something. So right now, the car has 1,236 horsepower. That is crazy. However, I don't understand why why this single turbocharger offers more power than the stock turbo which would be a twin um, if you correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure the supras not all of them but i'm pretty sure they actually yeah i'm pretty sure they all came with twin turbo kits um unless if it didn't have a turbo at all um so why a single race turbo does better can you ask can you answer that for me that'd be great but anyways, that's basically why I have a single turbo. It gives me more power. We're at over 1,200. So uh, let's get into the tuning and hopefully you guys can answer that for me. This will be too hard to tune. I've heard what you guys have said, um, you know, to improve, to improve my drag times. I'm gonna take that into consideration, but at the same time, it's hard to really remember everything you guys are saying. So if I forget to do things, bear with me. Keep, uh, keep letting me know and uh, we'll uh, we'll get there eventually, but let's just go with it. So it's rear wheel drive, we'll give it a lower tire pressure and we'll give it a higher front tire pressure. Uh, we'll go back to gearing in a bit. Negative camber, hold up a second. If we have negative, positive, ne negative front camber, that means that Positive camber turns the top of the tires outwards. I basically keep forgetting this every time. I'm gonna basically, I want this to be better for straight line. So, I'm thinking, you know what, we're gonna reduce this a little bit. And rear, gonna reduce a little bit even more. Keep it kind of, uh, actually I just kinda wanna keep it even. So we're just going straight, right? Actually, uh, a little bit of negative camber on the rear. Toe. I want to kind of keep the rear tires a little bit more wide. So we'll do a little bit of toe in and just like that. All right, we'll leave the front angle caster don't need to worry about that stiffen up the front and stiffen up the rear a little bit because we don't really want to be swerving same with the uh same with the springs actually we'll go like this i want to uh see if this has any improvement okay that's good We'll lower the car a bit. Wow, really, uh, we'll just do like that, I guess. Not not much fine tuning here, it kind of just jumps, you know what I mean? But we'll leave it like that. Same with the rebound and bump stiffness, we'll, uh, we'll stiffen it up a little bit. We want speed, we want max speed, obviously. Don't really need to worry about brake pressure because we're not gonna be braking at all. And we'll just give it, oh, I forgot actually. We have 1200 horsepower. What am I thinking? I, I'm thinking maybe 
a 60% rear acceleration will be good. We'll leave the de deceleration alone. So hopefully this works out. And one more thing, we're gonna have to go back to the gearing and shorten these gears up. We wanna make sure this is a 10 second car. So we'll go 4.55. What top speed are we at? Ooh. Alright guys, we're gonna test her out. Alrighty guys, here we go. Oh damn, you see that nitrous right here window? Well, we did it. <laughs> damn, 8.7 seconds. Wow. That was great guys, that was definitely great. Now we're gonna do a second heat, see if we can beat 8.7 seconds. But we definitely made a 10 second car in honor of Paul. Damn, this thing is crazy. 8.676, our best time. We did it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this car, of this build, and any suggestions you guys have, leave in the comments below. If there's any cars you'd like to see me do in the future, also let me know that as well. I hope you guys have a good day and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks, see ya.